Hello, my name is Justin Ferrate, and I would like to introduce you to the Llewellyn Gallery's new exhibition, New York Modernism. The show will feature 12 different modernist artists who look through the eyes of modernism in very distinct and personal ways. It's a very exciting show, so please join us. These modernist artists were inspired by the city's architecture, its dynamic energy, and the geometry of its avenues and skyscrapers. Though their subject matter is suggestive of this visceral urban environment, these artists were viewed as radical in the United States for their experimentation with cubism, surrealism, futurism, precisionism, and constructivism all of which straddled the line between semi-representational and fully non-objective imagery. Artists such as George L. K. Morris, Ralston Crawford, and Esafir Sobotkina were staunch advocates for a new visual language in American art that prioritized metaphor, ordered line, and experimentation above any impulse for realism. John Grillo is widely regarded as having played a seminal role in the development of the Northern California branch of abstract expressionism. In fact, John Grillo's freewheeling paintings were inspirational and influential for the then up-and-coming painter Richard Diebenkorn. In 1948, Grillo left San Francisco for New York City where he studied with Hans Hofmann, a kindred spirit with whom he shared a passion for color. Grillo's signature style, marked by a fascination for bold colors and grid-like patterns, was formed during this period. The warm colors of his canvases earned Grillo comparisons to Renoir and to Rubens. Ralston Crawford's style is best described as precisionism, a style popular in the 1920s and 1930s and characterized by the depiction of sharply defined, often industrial forms. Crawford was deeply impressed by the precisionist art of Charles Sheeler and Charles Demuth, whose abstracted, streamlined, colorful renderings of industrial subjects he found appealing, which encouraged his own examination of similar themes. Abstracted works comparable to those in the Llewellyn Gallery exhibition, such as 3rd Avenue Elevated No. 4 and of Architectural Abstraction, can be found in the extensive collection of Crawford's work at the Whitney Museum of American Art. In 1938, Howard Dow and his mother emigrated to New York from Poland, Down became associated with a group of painters who shared ideas about modernism and endeavored to create a distinctly American form of post-Cubist abstract art. Fusing a range of influences including Native American and Surrealist art forms, these artists developed what became known as Indian Space Painting, a term coined by Down to describe the work of these very urban, non-Indian, New York City-based painters. Daum is often considered to be the consummate representative of the group. George L. K. Morris was educated at Groton and at Yale. In 1929, Morris traveled to Paris where he studied with Fernand Leger and Amade Ozenfant at the Académie Moderne. Cosmopolitan and erudite, George L. K. Morris and his cousin A. E. Gallatin were soon joined by the artist Susie Frelinghuysen and Charles B. Shaw in their passionate commitment to abstraction both as artists and as patrons. The group became known as the Park Avenue Cubists. 
Morris admired the geometric order of cubism and was insistent that art should be made for its own sake and not to reflect social causes like the popular art of social realism of the 1930s. On behalf of Lou Allen Galleries, I'd like to thank you for joining us today. It's been a pleasure. If you have any questions, please feel free to contact us at the Lou Allen Galleries.